You better believe. You better believe. He says there is a performance of the things that you believe. There is a performance of the things that you believe. What you know is what you think about. What you think about is what you say. What you say is because you believe. You better believe. The Bible tells us again in Psalm 112, Unto the upright, unto the upright, on the one that standeth right, there arises light in the darkness. There arises light in the darkness. He is gracious, full of compassion, and he is righteous. Yesterday, I watched the video of a man, 98 years old, who said he was a survivor of the Israeli Holocaust, where they wanted to kill people because they were Jews. He was a Jew living in Germany, bearing the name of a German, Eddie something, okay? So he was arrested in Germany and because he was a Jew and thrown into a concentration camp. He was there for three or four months and then released and then he made his way into, I think, some country in Europe, perhaps Belgium. When they found him in Belgium, they arrested him because they thought he was a German another few months in a concentration camp. He escaped and he found himself in France. In France again, he was arrested for one thing or the other because they thought he was a German. And then from there, they shipped him to Auschwitz, the terrible concentration camp where he received all matters of brutalization. Says when he was first arrested, they brutalized him. Said they did so many things to him that he was shameful to talk about them. But eventually he was released went back to Belgium, married his wife. They've been married for 73 years. And he says he made himself two promises. Two promises. Number one, to be nice to all men, to forgive all men, to be there for all men, to do his best for all men, and to live for the benefit of others. Number two, never to go back to Germany again. Never to go back to Germany again. He says at the age of 98, he has fulfilled both promises. He says, when you are faithful and we are righteous, God will wipe away the past. He says, today, I'm a very, very happy man, and I have seen my children's children's children, and I'm satisfied. I want to tell somebody that you are going to be happy. You are going to be satisfied. You are going to be blessed. You are going to be famous. You are going to be great. You are going to be mighty. You are going to be extraordinary in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? If you are ready to withstand things for the sake of the gospel, Two, if you are ready to be righteous and to follow God everywhere you are going. Number three, be ready to forgive and forget all the pain of the past. And number four, ready to follow God till the very end. Today, I decree into your life a blessing beyond the curse. In the name of Jesus Christ, you better 